Hey guys, it's Yaz here and today I have a tutorial video for you on how to create your own character. I'm really sorry for not uploading a video last week as my schedule has been occupied on Mondays, so I'll be uploading on Saturdays instead. I hope this first video um, of the series, of the tutorial series, uh, can make it up for that. So yeah, let's get started. This process can be used to make characters for your comic book, a video game, or an animation, pretty much anything. First thing is you should have something sketched out for your character. I have here two sketches that I really just randomly drew one day at work and I really liked how she looked so I developed a small backstory for her. Um, she has transmutation powers, I also named her Rita. I'm going for a very back to the future kind of theme. I also drew her a bag and a gun. There's a whole process in how I design a gun so if you guys would like me to do a tutorial about that please let me know in the comments below. I've compiled some reference pictures here that I got from Pinterest and just Google Images. This is basically the look that I'm trying to go for, like the jacket style and colors, those high waist jeans, and I even have some posters that can help me better imagine the world that my character will be in. So of all the sketches, I like the top right one the most, so I'll do my line art on that one. I'm just going over the sketch, um, looking back and forth at my reference pictures and checking the other sketches, um, just adding smaller details and symbols. The symbol with the many rings is a transmutation symbol that I found online, so I thought it looked cool and uh, just added that on her jackets. Next we can move on to choosing the colors. I like the red color for the jacket, but wanted that 70s vibe from that other colorful jacket on the top left so I tried adding more bright colors that can match that red I'm just sampling some of the colors from the reference images when choosing your colors try to have something that you won't usually use because those are the ones that really stick to people's minds and will make your character really stand out like if you're doing a character from a medieval era for example you can have their well-known style of clothing like those heavy coats and hats but try to add something that is out of the ordinary like some vents in their suit or a special item that doesn't seem to belong to that time period just to make things more interesting and make your audience go like whoa what is that how did it get there you know For Rita here, I know that I'm going to add some glowing parts in her jacket and maybe even under her sneakers. If you're satisfied with your colors, you can go ahead and start shading. I like to start with the face. I'm still shading under the lines just to decide where the light will be coming from and keeping the line layer will make it easier to know where the shadows and highlights will be. Maybe here you can get inspired in a certain part of your character's look and add more to their backstory like elements about who they are, where they come from, do they travel alone or with a partner, stuff like that. After roughly doing that, add a new layer on top of the outline layer and start shading with more details. I'm just adding darker shades, um, adding more purple hues to the pants. This part is where you can just let your hand do the working and just relax while coloring. See what suits you best, what you like and dislike. There are really no rules here, just go crazy with your character design. I added a little rose tattoo on her arm and darkened the background a bit because I want to add the glow parts and uh, they show better on a darker background. So how I add the glowing parts is I make a new layer and set it to color dodge. Then I pick the airbrush and also put it on color dodge and uh, then you can just go ahead and paint wherever you want that neon glow to be. I start with her sneakers. I added this pink glow coming from underneath. Then I added the blue glow on her jacket on the transmutation symbol. And uh, we're almost done here with creating uh, your own character. Just the final thing you can do to give your character more of a story is to add an accessory. I added the backpack here but you can add really anything like a weapon or a computer device or even a stuffed doll. The bag was the final step to giving Rita a more tech look. I finally darkened the background even more. One last thing I like to do which is just a plus that will make your overall design look good if you're presenting this to someone or if it's just for your own self, I really recommend doing this as a final step. Just make a layer below your character and add some bright highlights around the outlines, especially in areas like the hair. It just makes the design pop and give it a sense of depth that light is shining through from somewhere. And uh, yeah, you just created your own character design. 
Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and speed paints and uh, I'll talk to you guys next week.